And I guarantee those people that you see that are doing a fantastic job, that seem to always be out there uh, on social media, doing emails, I guarantee you they do this thing. What's it called? Hey, what's up? It's Tori Mathis, your host, and I'm here with the one and only Sean Mathis, founder of Mastery Time Automotive Museum. No applause necessary. (laughs) You know, a lot of people have a hard time getting into properly marketing their business because they don't have time. It happens. It does happen. But, you know, there is one thing that you can do that will make your marketing life so much easier. And I guarantee those people that you see that are doing a fantastic job that seem to always be out there uh, on social media, doing emails, I guarantee you they do this thing. What's it called? It is batching. Batching is amazing. And if you don't know what batching is, batching is doing multiple of the same thing at one time. I like to think about it as if you are going to bake some cookies. You would never bake one cookie at a time. Like pull out all the pot, the pans, make enough dough for one cookie, bake one cookie. Oh, you'd bake a batch of cookies, you? would you? bake a batch of cookies. Absolutely. That's the word batch. <laughs> <laughs> As I, I try to go to the museum and, uh, and do, like, I, I try to coordinate it because I don't need to go there on a daily basis. So Saturdays are different because it's the busiest. But if I wind up going there during the week... I, I kind of, I batch all the, the, um, I don't know, chores, I guess you could call it, uh, things that I need to do so that when I'm there, I can utilize my time as efficiently as possible, especially since it's an hour away, an hour back. So I've already lost two hours from my day that I could be doing other things. You have to make it worth your time. Uh, So I, you know, like I'm going to go Thursday and I'm going to get the library done. I'm going to collect a car. I'm going to meet somebody about a new car. I'm going to have a meeting with the other guy. I mean, there's all these things. I'm going to do it all in one trip versus, you know, going up there on a whim and do one thing here and then go, ah, crap, I got to go and do it another day. Because really, you could just do one of those things a day or two of those things a day and you would be there every single day of the week and then we would never see you. I I don't have have time for that. Just like you probably don't have time to market your business and post on social media and write emails every single day. That is the other thing that I do at the museum. And I, I typically do this on Saturdays. I will take... A handful of photos all at once. Yes. Um, if something's going on, I may I may take them at different points, but I try to make a point before I leave to just walk around and take some photos of various things. I don't even put any effort into it, really. Uh, I just I snap them from a few different angles, try to get something different, and uh, and then I leave so that I can then use those photos throughout the week of sharing on on social media until I go back the next Saturday. You know, we talk about the importance of photos all the time for marketing your business and especially for your Google listing because Google loves if you add photos to your Google business listing. And so a great thing to do is to take pictures of your staff, uh, like your techs, if you have like tech guys that go out, Mm -hmm. like in their uniforms, people like actually doing their job, your products. And this isn't something that you have to like, oh, I need to post on Facebook today. And you run and you take a picture and then you come back and you post it. And you're like, oh, the next day and you run and take it. Like you're gonna drive yourself crazy doing that. So if you did something like what Sean does, I think that that's an excellent example of how you could, I mean, you could take a shit ton of pictures. You could have enough pictures for you know, a couple months easily if you just went out there and snapped a bunch of pictures. And now social media, like you, you don't even have to use a third party um, software to schedule anything. Like you can schedule all those posts directly on Facebook and just sit down and, and you know upload all your photos, say a little something, send them back to your website and schedule it out for as long as you have material for it uh, and call it good. So as long as you are using a business Facebook page, which we know that you are, you have the ability to schedule. And it's just like where it's at to post. There's like a little arrow that drops down that instead of like post right now, it says schedule. And Google your business. Don't worry about that. Just upload 
every one of those damn pictures. No way, once. really? Oh yeah, and the photos. It's different than the post. Like you can still do the post every so often if you wanted to utilize them that way. Okay. But just add them into your photos. Just I, I go I go onto the app on my phone because that's where the the photos are, and I just take all the photos and put them right into into the, the the photos category of the business listing, and it just adds to to more in there. You know, the last time we talked about Google My Business, your uh, the email that I got, you only had five figures. Mm-hmm. This last month, over a hundred thousand views on Sean Mathis's Mouse Your Time. Photos on his Google My Business page. Hurrah! Hmm. 100,000 views on photos. So whatever it is that your business is, you got to add those photos. Um, and I wouldn't have thought that. I would have thought that you should have, like, popped them out here and there. Just poop them in there, huh? I just put them all in there. Just poop them in there all at once. Wait, which, again, is different than using the Google, like, the post section. The post is different. You, you, you want to do that... You know, every couple of days. Can or you every schedule day those out as well? Uh, not directly on Google. Not that, not that I'm aware of. You, you, if you wanted to do that, you'd have to use something like Meet Edgar or um, Who's Zoho Social. Zoho for Social. Some of our so, yeah. And there, there's there's a ton of different options for that kind of stuff. Not all of them work for Google, which is the one thing that you'll want to pay attention to. Uh, I don't think that Meet Edgar works on Google. Zoho does. Zoho yeah. does. And I think that's one of the reasons that we chose that for our um, clients because it's it's a social media scheduler that you can do um, that goes to all the major social media um channels and goes to your Google My Business page. But on Google, you don't have to do it every single... It's not like Facebook where you should be posting every day. No. Um, no, in fact, I think it... It's, I would, I would do Google like once a week, once a week yeah. because they'll only show so many of the posts anyways. So they get the buried results. so quickly that. Yeah. And, and nobody will see it. So in, in Google, you almost want to give it enough time to be seen because it's not going to go anywhere. It's not showing up in anybody's news feed. It's just there as um, a potential search result. That's good to know. But that, that doesn't mean that you couldn't get a few ready at one time and so that you're not scrambling like oh it's my one time a week to post on my google my business what am i going to do you could actually sit there you know i like to do things because sean goes to master time on a saturday and that is like my super batching day where i get as many things done and laid out um and so you know take a saturday that you know you're just hanging out and get your post done and you could get it done for several months like if you sit down and say you know these are how many i need and give yourself only that day, like you can get months of content done in just one sitting because it's a lot easier to do all those things at once, like batching the cookies than it is to scramble every week. Because when you start scrambling every week, it's like when you're late. Isn't that the worst feeling? Yeah. Like, I hate that. I always try to leave really early because I hate that feeling of having to scramble. And it's the same thing for posting or it's the same thing for emails or or blog posts or what. like you can get yourself out of that nervous, anxious, like feeling by just sitting down and do so many at one time. See, and there's a, a trick too. Like if, if they're just photos, if they're evergreen type posts, um, batch them all out and, but save them and then, you know, do it again in, in the future. Um, that way, like you, you'd wind up having a ton of photos you could reshare because so much time goes by, like nobody knows. And nobody even if knows. they do, who the hell cares? Plus, I always will take the the pictures that are shared on the business listing and then share them on my personal page, which then uh, the the Facebook memories then show me my memories of things I share. And I'll wind up turning around and resharing it from my memory back onto my business page and do a full circle of just a bunch of shares. And it's not like I'm redoing it. I'm just pushing, click and share. And there it is again. I've seen a couple of people talk about that, that if they look through their insights on, for example, Facebook, you'll always have like a couple of posts that do crazy good, like so much more than other ones. And you can go back and look through Mm -hmm. those. And the way that you can have them always do crazy good is like, if it worked, share it again. So there's a way that you can go and you look through that. And if you have a post that did really well, that means it'll probably do really well again. Same thing with sales and promotions and like different things like that. And you have to think that everybody's not going to see every single thing that you do every single time. 
it's just completely impossible with the amount of content that's coming out except your mom. Your mom will probably see every single one of them and she will be super excited. Um, she's not going to care that she sees the same thing again. Um, but everybody else is not going to see it. So it's okay to reuse it. Now, it doesn't mean reuse it like next week. You know, give it a little bit of breathing time, but you can definitely Or post. not. Because <laughs> I'll get too anxious <laughs> and I'll share something late at night. I like I doing something and I'm like, whatever. I'm not scheduling it. I want to see it live. And it'll get a couple people, right? But I can see, you know, it, it, it didn't do as well as I thought. I'll just reshare that shit the next day. The next day? The next day. But it could might... be back to back for all I care. Okay, so that it's something that you think is supposed to be good and then it didn't turn out good and it might be because it was the wrong time or just to pop it out again. But you wouldn't want to do it over like every day, keep sharing it, right? Cause no, it, no, no, no. I would, I would. No, I'd move on from it at that point. But I, I like it it's still, if it got shared at, you know, eight o'clock at night on a Tuesday, I'm okay with resharing it the next day, Wednesday at 10 o'clock in the For morning sure. okay because it's a it's most likely a completely different audience whether or not you know anybody sees the same thing it doesn't matter and if they even see the same thing they might not even notice true that it's been shared again it just happened to show up in their feed again, again. correct okay i could totally see that so i don't think that you should just keep sharing the exact same thing like if you're selling tacos you don't have to go on there and show the exact same picture of tacos every single day you probably want to give a little bit of variety however if you have a big promotion coming out like sean when he has his car show you obviously want to share that kind of stuff a lot of times i actually would rather reshare something that worked yeah, then like about the car show or something, yeah. I'd reshare it versus putting Maybe something post. brand new that's pretty much the same thing, if not the same thing. I just reshare the same old post and keep it going because then it is going to make it look like it is more popular and then Facebook is going to show it more often anyways or Instagram or I mean, it's going to be the same for any of the social media platforms. And so we've talked about like making up your own kind of um, events so that if you like you're not really sure what to um, post, that could be a way that you could batch that as well. Um, like the car of the week kind of thing. Like it doesn't mean that every week you would have to go out and pick the car of the week. You could actually go out there in one day and pick the car of the week. Um, the car wash is the one that did this. Um, and you could go out in one day and pick the car of the week for the next six weeks and then get it all ready so that you didn't have to think about car of the week again. The and actually, the, the car wash that did that for our car, um, I didn't see it for, I think, two weeks oh, before he actually yeah. used it. So he, he, that, that guy that did it, he, he batched it. I mean, I, he, he took photos of cool cars when he saw them and um, scheduled saved, it out. Yep. Yeah. It, it was nothing like, oh, that's it, finally, and then <laughs> shared it. And then they had to wait until another one came through. He took them as they came in. That's a great way to do it. You know, one of the reasons that I like Meet Edgar, um, you talked about evergreen content. A lot of the social media schedulers will only let you schedule once. Um, some of them will let you schedule one thing to go out um, maybe a couple of times. Um, but a lot of them, it's, it's a one-time thing. The reason I like Meet Edgar is that if you do have evergreen content, meaning content that you can post at any time, like it could be daytime, nighttime, it could be the fall, it could be the spring, and it's always going to be relevant and good content for your customers. Uh, Meet Edgar actually creates like these little buckets and it reuses, so if you have enough content, it reuses the content from the same bucket and then you can mix your bucket up so it's not going out like exactly the same, but like, like anybody would ever notice. Um, and so that's that's a really great way that if you did want to batch things, you can put them in a social media scheduler like Meet Edgar that will just keep putting them out and then you keep adding more content to it and you can mix it up every once in a while. Plus it'll do variations. So if you've got a photo and you've got some text with it, you can then add variations of different text or different pages of your website or something that you're sending them back to, whatever the case may be. Um, and if you've got something that's not evergreen, we also use it to, just because it's easier to blast it out to our clients, all of their their uh, social media outlets to, uh, you know, it, it's a one time deal. And so I'll click on there saying only send once and save. And uh, it's still easier than, you know, trying to individually go to each one 
Right. And and share it. No, you know, I'm only going to do it once. And that is a good point because people may think that you have to like, oh, I want to post this on Instagram. And then they have to go into Instagram and post it there and then go into Facebook and then go and go into all these different places. When you use some of these social media schedulers. So not only can you schedule it in advance, which is super cool because you can do a whole bunch at one time and get it all scheduled out. Uh, it's you, you just put it in there one time and then it automatically puts it out to all of these different social media channels. If you didn't know that that happens. Yeah, I mean, it, it saves a ton of time because you got stuff like like LinkedIn has its purpose. But even like your business listing on LinkedIn, like the odds of anybody following that and seeing anything on that are pretty slim. But if you're using an automated system like Meet Edgar and it sends it out there anyways, you might as well plug it in as being one of the places that it, it goes out there so that if... By chance, somebody does go, hey, let's check out this business on LinkedIn and see what it's all about. It's it's going to have a bunch of content on there. It shows that you're active right. and that you're you're doing things. But it like zero effort from you. It's just mm -hmm. another click of a button. We talk about the fact that people will go crazy on the be like, I'm going to try Facebook. And they go crazy nuts for two weeks and they post a whole bunch. And then they never post again. And if you use some of these tools, the ones that we talked about, and if you did some of this batching, then you don't have to worry about looking like a crazy person or looking like a business that is no longer open. Because there's always going to be stuff for your business that you need to post. That's just like general things. If you're a restaurant, you know, it's your specials. It's what you serve. It's pictures of the restaurant. It's reviews. You know, these type of things. If you're the dog groomer, it's talking about your services, tips for pets, why you should get your dog groomed. Like there's all these things that you have that you can always post about. Um, and so doing a type of brain dump and figuring out what all of these things are and then just getting some simple posts put together, like it doesn't have to be overly complicated. Complicated. It doesn't have to be super difficult. You don't have to have a professional photographer come out. You can go out there with your smartphone, take some decent photos like Sean does. At one time, he said he doesn't even pay it. What did you say? You didn't even think about it. Like he doesn't even try. No. <laughs> and you would never know because they're, they look like great photos to me. I thought Sean was trying. I didn't realize it. So Every once in a while I try like, but I, it, I have to feel creative and I, I've got to like have an idea and I'm like, oh, I'm going to try to get this angle and all this but a lot of times uh, i may not have time because the door's open and a lot of times there's, there's people in there and i'm talking all day long and never have a time to actually take any photos so then it comes down to right before i leave and i'm like i click 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 and i and i'm i'm out the door like literally as i walk to the exit i'm taking the photos i love it when you tell me that you don't try <laughs> you know no i'm serious like <laughs> because people like it looks like you do even when like Sean talked about writing the blog post about Helen, which has been one of the greatest blog posts on the Miles Through Time website that has driven the most traffic that Sean could go share at any day and get a shit ton of people to come to the Miles Through Time website because of this blog post. And Sean tells me, I just whipped it together. I didn't try. <laughs> you don't have to spend a shit ton of time on this stuff. You don't have to be a photographer. You don't have to put your fancy clothes on, you know? You don't have to go and edit every photo and make it all perfect. Like, it just has to be done. Well, and that's the cool thing about any of this digital stuff in this in the world we live in today. Just, I mean, you can tweak things. Once it's there, you just tweak it and tweak it and tweak it, and you can repurpose and make it better and better and better. And maybe by the 20th time you send that, that same image out the text is so perfect <laughs> and the web page it goes to yeah. is so fantastic that it'll blow everyone's minds when they go to it and be like how'd you come up with this little do they know it took you 10 years and 100 revisions <laughs> but whatever uh, that's very true so batching is a great way that you can get a lot done at one time and not drive yourself crazy trying to market your business. It's definitely a tool that people are using that you need to use too in your business. If you want more tips and tools that you can use for your business, go to ToriMathis.com. We have a free resource page. Um, we have a lot of really great tools that we put together that we think would really help you that you could go check out. And some of them have some really great specials that you could try for free. And a lot of them are free tools. And they're, they're really going to help you be more productive without wasting time and wasting money and driving yourself crazy. And that's what we want for you.
That's right. So we hope you enjoyed this episode. We have new episodes every Tuesday and Thursday, and we'd love to see you here again. Thanks. Thank you.